Hello, my musicians, and welcome to this week's lesson. Today, we are going to do some rhythm counting. Now, we've done this plenty of time in class. Today, we're going to go through and review the rhythms that we already know, that you're already experts at. And I'm going to introduce a new rhythm to you using 16th notes. Let's begin. All right, so let's start with our half note. We've done whole notes before too, but we're not going to do whole notes today. Let's do half notes. When we are in class, we call them toe we count them that way, right? Because the half notes are two beats in a 4-4 four, four measure. Okay, remember that 4-4, four, four, that top number just means we've got four beats per measure. And that's what we usually count is a lot of 4-4 four, four measures, okay? Remember that the half note is called that not because it gets half of a beat. It actually gets two beats, but it gets half of a measure in 4-4 four, four time because half of four equals two. So just keep that in mind. So if I would go and perform this rhythm here, um, that's written here. I'd count it off with a steady beat, right? One, two, three, four. Toe, toe. Remember, we used to do this on the slides with our hands. So, toe, toe. But you guys know that one. We're going to move ahead. Next one. Here we've got quarter notes. Now, remember, they're also called quarter notes because they would take up a quarter of a measure, not a quarter of a beat. A quarter of a measure. I put the um, the coin the quarter or up in the corner because to remind you that a quarter coin is a quarter of a dollar, just like a quarter note is a quarter of a full measure. Now we call these tas. They get a nice full beat, and then I also put in this sample measure here a quarter rest. Remember, we're going to say shh on that quarter rest. So if we were going to do this together this rhythm that I have on the screen, I'll count us off with a steady beat and then you say this with me. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, begin. Ta, sh, ta, ta. Pretty good review, right? I know you guys know how to do this. Let's keep going. All right, the next one, we're still on ta's and shushes, so quarter rests and quarter notes. Think about it in your head once. All right, perform it with me. Say it aloud with me. I'll count us off. One, two, Ready, begin. Ta, sh, sh, ta. All right, moving on. These are TTs. We're gonna take that steady beat of our quarter notes, which get one beat each because they're a quarter of a measure, and we're gonna take it and we're gonna split that note into two equal rhythms. We're gonna subdivide it to a TT, and that is the rhythm, okay? So it's still one beat, but now we're taking it and we're like, now it's half of a beat, half of a beat into a TT. All right, now sometimes when we read our rhythms, they look like this with the note heads off. Sometimes, most of the time, they look like this with the note heads on. Now remember, it doesn't matter whether the stems are pointing up or pointing down, it's still the same rhythm. But what gives it away as a TT is this beam across the top, one beam. And that signifies it's in contained into one beat, but it's split into those two equal subdivisions of the beat. So let's perform and review our eighth notes with our tas. So TTs and tas together. Take a look at the rhythm that we have up here. So here's our tas, and here's the TTs. Remember, here's the beam across the top. So it's just like we took the one beat note and we split it into two equal rhythms. We subdivided that beat into two. So let's perform it together. I'm gonna to count off a steady beat and say it along with me. All right, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti. Now I know you guys are good at these. Um, let's do it one more time. This time add some body percussion, some snaps, some claps, some pats. Some of you are in your videos are doing some on your head. Just be careful, don't hurt yourself. One more time, say it in body percussion. Here we go. One. Two, ready, let's go. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti. Awesome, let's move on. All right, think about it for a second. How do we say and perform this rhythm? Let's give it a try. One, two, say it with me. Ta, ti, 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 ta. Good, let's keep going. One more. Ooh, I added a rest in there. I don't think it's gonna trick you though. Think about it once in your head. Let's say it. One, two, 
together. Let's go. Ta, sh, ti, ti, ta. Awesome. Let's do a little more practice with our friends over at Visual Music Minds. And go ahead and say and clap these rhythms along with the video. Now that we've practiced our old rhythms, let's do a new rhythm together today. We're going to do 16th notes. And we've called the quarter notes ta's, the eighth notes tt's. We're gonna call 16th notes ticka tickas. They're really fun to say. Now, the reason they're called 16th notes is because you can fit 16 notes evenly in a measure of 4-4 four, four time, okay? So, 
that being said. Um, do you see how these are beamed together? They're beamed together like the eighth notes in groups of one beat. So this right here is the first beat. It's one beat and you can see it's divided into four equal parts. So here's the first ticka ticka one beat. Here's beat two, it's beamed together, beat three and beat four. Now you'll notice that the beam looks different than the eighth notes, than the TTs. It has two beams across the top and that's how you know it's a 16th note or a ticka ticka. Now these notes can be pretty fast depending on how um, fast our steady beat is. For right now, I'm not gonna go too crazy fast, but if this is my steady beat, I'll count myself off and you can hear how fast the ticka tickas would be. So four equal beats, four equal subdivisions of the beat for ticka tickas. Here we go. One, two, ready, here we go. Ticka ticka, ticka ticka, ticka ticka, ticka ticka. We just did 16 16th notes. To me, it always sounds like a train engine beat. Like ch -ch 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 ch 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 That to me is what ticka ticka sound like. If we went faster, if I counted off a faster steady beat, obviously the notes would go faster. So let's change my steady beat to about this. One, two, a little faster, go. Ticka, 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 ticka. There's my four beats of ticka tickas. Let's practice. So I have a measure of quarter notes, taz. I see a TT in there. There's our new ticka, ticka, and then another ta right? Ta, those are TTs there because they have one beam across the top. The ticka tickas have two beams across the top and then a ta at the end. Let's try saying that together. I'll count us off. Here we go. One, two, say it with me. Ta, ti, ti, ticka, ticka, ta. Good. One more time. If you're comfortable saying it, why don't you say it and try some body percussion with me? Here we go. One, Two, let's do it again. Ta, ti, ti, ticka, ticka, ta. Great, let's move on. How'd you do? Yeah, I knew you guys would pick this up. You are master rhythm counters. Now, does anyone know what this coming Monday is? Around our house, Monday's a pretty big deal. It's kind of a holiday for us. Hmm, what could it be Monday? Well, the date Monday is the 4th of May. Does anyone know? That's right. 4th of May, May 4th. It's Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> and, um, to celebrate, we're going to do a little bit of like a Star Wars rhythm combined in our lesson. Now, you can't tell, but I already have my Star Wars shirt on for the occasion. And I have some Darth Vader earrings on. You guys know how much I like Star Wars. And to do our rhythms, I'm gonna add my uh, Chewbacca ears here to help me out. There we go. They kind of blend in with my hair color, but that's all right. They're my Chewbacca ears. We are going to do some Star Wars rhythm counting with some Ticka Tickas. May the fourth be with you. Here we go. Next slide, here is our video. Now, I did not make this part of our video either. This was done by another music teacher and I'm very thankful she did. Music teachers all over love Star Wars. Um, she's gonna have kind of like the opening scrawl of Star Wars and she's gonna show a four beat rhythm, like one measure. And you'll hear her drum give four steady beats. And I'm gonna do this with you. After the four steady beats, it's the same as if I was counting one, two, ready, go but it's just gonna be four beats. We are going to say the rhythms that come up on her video and it looks very much like Star Wars. So let us enjoy Rhythm Wars together. A long time ago in music class far, far away. <laughs> Rhythm Wars! I love that she did such a good job. I'll read it with you. Episode five, look at all those rhythms we're gonna do. Do you have what it takes to become a Jedi? To begin your training, clap each rhythm after the four clicks. We're gonna say the rhythms. You ready? Ta, 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 ta. Listen for the next four. T, T, ta, T, T, ta. Ready, here we go. Ta, T T toe we. Ticket tickets. 
everybody. Let's go. Ticka, ticka, ta. Ticka, ticka, ta. Ready? Go. T, 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 T. Ticka, 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 ta, ta. Ta, ta, ticka, ticka, ta. Ta, ticka, ticka, ta, ta. Ready? Go. Ticka, ticka, ta, ta, ta. Two, ready, go. Ticka, ticka, ta, ti, ti, ta. Two, ready, begin. Ticka, ticka, ti, ti, ticka, ticka, ta. There's a shush in that one. Ready, go. Ticka, ticka, ti, ti, ta, shh. Two, three, let's go. Ticka, 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 ta. Ticka, ticka, shh. Ticka, ticka, shh. Yay! Excellent job, young Padawan. And may the force be with you. I thought that was fun. Big finish, Jasmine! Excellent job, my counters. So here is my weekly music challenge for you. Using what you have at home, be creative, compose your own four beat rhythm using our quarter notes, ta's, eighth notes, our tt's, and then I need you to do one set, which is four sixteenth notes, our new ticka tickas, and then perform it. By perform it, I mean you need to say it with our ta's, tt's, ticka tickas out loud. Now, if you're really good at that and you wanna say it while performing, body percussion, by all means do that as well. You could also include one quarter rest, one shh, but I wanna hear your rhythms. I don't want it to be all about shh, okay? Be creative with your rhythm and how you want to represent it. Um, here are some of the ways that I did it and I don't want you to copy my rhythm. If you need ideas for different rhythms that include ticka tickas, you can go back to the Star Wars, the Rhythm Wars, and find a rhythm you like there as well. Now what I did is I went into the HCA music room and I found our boom whackers. Do you see here on the floor? I took boom whackers to make my rhythm. My rhythm is ta, ticka ticka, ti, ti, ta. So for the ta's, I just had one stem of a red boom whacker. Here's my ticka ticka, and you can tell it's a ticka ticka because it's got the two beams across the top. And then for ti, ti, I represent a different color too, but it only has one beam across the top. And then there's my ta again. So if this was it, I would say, here's my rhythm. And I'd perform ta, ticka, ticka, ti, ti, ta. Right? Here are some other ways I chose to represent this rhythm. Ta, ticka, ticka, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ticka, ticka, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ticka, ticka, ti, ti, ta. So my musicians. I hope I gave you some ideas on different ways you can write and perform your rhythm for your portfolio this week. Now go ahead and post that video to your class dojo portfolio. And remember, may the fourth be with you on Monday. Bye.